strapping dog. That off work pie. I need that off work pie, cuz. I need that off work pie when it's dropping, cuz. Things get lost in the cloud, bro. Can't trust it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. What? <laughs> hey, <laughs> All right, this Brando, Brando, Brando been watching that, that little Nas X video, bro. You been <laughs> the, uh, don't do that. We're not doing that. It's not how we start out today. <laughs> it's too late, dog. This is episode fifty-one of the Off Work Podcast, bro. Hey, I honestly want to say episode fifty might have been like the most controversial pod ever. Like that, that might be the best one though, content wise. It definitely is. It definitely it's one. Is. It's one. It's one of the best. I mean, it ain't. I mean, Drew should be canceled by now. It, it ain't that good. Here we Drew's go. Still here. <laughs> here Drew's we go. Still here, so it couldn't be that good. Cause you know. Well, I say this. Drew might not be canceled by America, but he should be canceled by Black America. Just, I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. Bruh, I, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, Brando. Like today, all day. Fiesta has been playing in my head. And I canceled R. Kelly years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, today, all I keep hearing in my head is Fiesta, Fiesta. Play hey. the song. Hey, hey. Hey, Jarvis, Jarvis, Jarvis. I played it. Play I the did. song. It's okay. It. Jarvis, play the song. You didn't do any, you didn't do anything wrong. You, you, won't, you, you, won't you, pick it, you won't pick it for what you've been on, though. Who? Nah, I ain't going to do that now. <laughs> he don't got to do that. He, <laughs> and, he, and he shouldn't. And Jarvis shouldn't. But if, if Jarvis wants to enjoy some music in his private time, Hey, hey, I felt guilty though. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like you do something you know you're not supposed to do, and like directly after you, like, dang, why, why I do that? I ain't had to do that. I mean, I, I yeah, don't feel that way about this one, though, Jarvis. This is out of your control. You can't help that you like the song, and the song was made. Did you found out these, the, the, how sick it, how sick the artist was after you loved the song? No, it's not your fault. Life is short. If you if you get the urge to hear that song, go listen to the song. You didn't do nothing and, wrong. And my thing, if it's not about like him detailing sexual experiences with a woman, then do, do those what, songs not what, like what him? type of what type of fiesta you think R. Kelly would be having? I'm not going. I'm, <laughs> y'all uh, too y'all making too much for open open interpretation. Yeah, the, the, the type of fiesta that got pinatas and jumping and trampolines oh and um, fucking candy. <laughs> And fucking Barbie dolls. <laughs> this is the type of fiesta ZB happened. And you remember that 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 story that Gilly said when he went over R. Kelly's house? What happened? So, <laughs> you heard the story about when um Kells was hooping? He can hoop. Yeah. No, he can't. Yeah. Hoop. Oh, you no, can't guard him. No, yeah. You're not allowed to guard him. It's not that you can't guard him. You're not allowed. Wait, Literally. what do we say? <laughs> you're not I allowed. The, the R. Kelly went to hoop and um, went to hoop with who? Oh, you talking about with Jay Z? You talking about Jay Z? No, I thought he was talking about the best of both worlds tour because I remember he no, did this up before. They no, I know about that story too. Gerard, Gerard, um, Gerard's actually a part of that story. I, and you don't think I've rubbed shoulders, but I'll tell you about that later. But I swear to God, I was a part of that story that you're talking about. But but I, we won't get to that later today. We won't get to that later today. You, you, oh, you the dude that got pepper sprayed by Tata? That's nah, you? No, nah, but... but <laughs> I, Listen, I was there for the transition between Best of Both Worlds and Jay Z and Friends. You were so, not there. You were not there. I was there. Brando, we were like Brando, we were like in middle school. Yes, I know. And I was there in middle school. I'm telling you what happened. I'm how was you there? Uh, come on, tell us how you was there. <laughs> we're not, come on, we're not. Well, like, I was trying to. T- I was trying to no, tell you. No, no, no. Forget See, that story. I was trying to tell you about. The, I tell. Listen, which one y'all want me to tell you about first? Let's talk about why you. Why, how you was hooping. Or the best of both worlds tour because I got both worlds. Best yeah. of both worlds. Okay, so yeah. the best of both worlds got best of both worlds tour got canceled as you all as you all know, and um, Hove had some beef with R. Kelly as you all know. Um, R. Kelly was acting like a huge diva. The um the rules were when you see Kells backstage, don't look in his eyes, don't look him in the face, don't talk to him, leave him alone. And I'm gonna say something. I would have similar rules too if I was if I was on more tour as well. So I can't tell us how you knew about no no no. You said you were no you could have read all this. You tell us you tell us all. You said you were involved. Um, I'm can I can I can I can I build can I build it up, please? This boy got more cap. Yo, hold. I'm not capping. I'm telling you what happened. So yes, (laughs) what I'm telling you right now. This boy got more cap than a lid store, boy. I swear. No 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 no. More what? 
Then the I said you got more cap than a lid store, dog. You be on den, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Brad don't like that joke, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Drew, why do you do that, dog? Every podcast, dog, uh, Drew like. <laughs> <laughs> you got to switch. You got to switch. <clears throat> this is how you turn from serious. You know, I'm like Kanye, serious. dog. Got to write the smile. Anyway, back, 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 back to Hovind, Kells. Yes, um, Kells was acting like a diva. Couldn't look the man in the eyes. He, you know, y'all know about the story with the red. Our, our listeners probably don't even know this story. So I, I didn't want to skip around, but long story short, Hovind or Curly had beef. Kells was acting like a diva. Then um, <laughs> Kells had to get kicked off the tour, basically. Hov wanted the show to continue, so we had to call in some reinforcements. Y'all know this, Brando! How are you involved? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was at the show. Where yeah. the, uh, the reinforcements were called. I was at the, I was in, I was live in attendance. That's all. That's how I was involved. I didn't have anything to do with the behind the scenes things. What the? When yeah. I was at the show, duh. No, I swear to God. I'm on my damn phone. Had to do this, bro. Thing, what the, what's wrong with this boy, <laughs> man? Hey, 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 Drew, hey, Drew, Jarrell. You think it's funny? Jarvis. No, not you. I meant Jarvis. I meant Jarvis this time. What? Drew and Jarvis. What? You think it's funny? Were you at the show? Are oh, you just happened to be at the first show after they broke up? I don't get it. Were you? Did you happen to be at the first show after they broke up? No, it doesn't mean I was. I'm just as involved as you were. That I don't care. Who did you rub shoulders with? Involved me because I was there. Brandon, who did you rub shoulders with? That night? Yeah. Nobody that night. <laughs> what? The? Nobody that night. But <laughs> what, the reason I'm telling you guys this story is because that was Yo. that was that was twelve year old Brando. And I didn't rub shoulders that night, but guess where I was? In the building. This is where it started. Well, you were in the building that night. You yes. were in the building the night that it's st- uh, the next day, it, the next tour stop. No, I, I don't get it. I was, I was at school the next the next tour stop. I was at Mr. Parker's. You, know, you, you pay for you pay to see R. Kelly, and then your ticket, like once they went to your stop, there was no R. Kelly. Correct. That's exactly what happened. Were you upset about that? No, I was happy. Okay. I was very happy because what happened was um, me and my dad was actually, to, to be quite honest about this this particular situation, no, I wasn't rubbing Red shoulders. Yo, no, I'm not telling you guys the truth. This. I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't rubbing this. shoulders this night. I wasn't rubbing, this, I wasn't rubbing shoulders. If people don't know my dad, my dad, my dad may have been rubbing, rubbing shoulders because my dad, my dad's a street nigga reform businessman. So at this time, my dad had, you know, my dad had some money in his pocket and he wanted to take little Brando to the um, Best of Both Worlds tour. And then the VIP access? You had VIP Hmm? access? Did we have VIP access that night? No. Not that night. Nosebleed access, nigga. (laughs) No, 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 no. We weren't in the nosebleeds. (laughs) We had good seats. We had good seats. But so, 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 let me, Jarvis, I, I, for this podcast, Jarvis, to be on, to be quite honest, Jarvis, I only want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I didn't even say nothing, Brando. Can me and you just have a conversation? And Brando, let I didn't even say. I didn't even say anything. I, 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 I didn't say you did. I just want to talk to Jarvis. I'm just, <laughs> laugh, I'm just <laughs> laughing because Drew, Drew's cracking jokes. <laughs> I just want to talk to Jarvis. Hey, Jarvis, this is what happened. Yeah, no, no, to say to say nosebleed access. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna let Drew get that off about the burner when I when I had the best some of the best seats in the house, to be quite honest with you. To be quite honest, I had some of the best seats in the house. Were you and, you went and, to the Hamlet Coliseum? Yes, I had the Coliseum. Yo, real quick, real quick, now while while we're on the subject, who is the most famous artist, legendary let's legendary we we have a different perspective on fame based on last week. <laughs> Who's the most legendary performer y'all have ever seen in person live? Hove. Beyonce. Hove. I mean, the only person I've seen live is J. Cole. Yeah, no life experience, dog. No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a concert person, but I, I, I mean, I went to a J. Cole concert, so. Oh, that's weak. That's weak. <laughs> that's a weak, that's a, if that's the toughest, if that's the toughest person you've seen. I'm not, I'm not a concert weak. person. I don't like concerts. I mean, neither am I, neither am I, but I just happen to show up there sometimes. And, and that's what I'm trying to tell y'all with this whole concert. So, would y'all take this trade? 
Jarvis, not Drew and Jerome. I'm just asking you, Jarvis. Jarvis, would you take this trade? Best of both world tours, you got tickets, right? On the bill is Jay-Z and Kells. Kells, you get swapped out. Instead of Kells, you get Mary J. Blige, DMX, Young Guns, with the rest of the Beanie Siegel and the rest of the state property. Who else was there? And T.I. T.I. That's it. So I got T.I., DMX, Mary J. Blige, um, state property, and um, oh, it's one more I'm forgetting. Um, I think I want to say like Busta Rhymes or something like that. So that, that was the trade off for losing R. Kelly. Would you take that? No. Oh, you tripping? No, I, I mean not not at the time mm-hmm. because as Jarrell knows, Drew probably doesn't know this, but at that time, like R. Kelly was my favorite R and B singer of all of ever at that time. When you were what? He still is. Mm-hmm. He still is your so favorite. You middle school, so, so you're telling no, me. No, 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 Brando, don't let him cap for the pod just because he's canceled all of a sudden. R&B, <laughs> R. Kelly is still your favorite R&B singer of all time. Don't fucking I mean, that's, to a, kid. that's everybody, but he's I the mean, best. He's the I best. Him, no, though. but Jarvis, Jarvis is about to deny him. You can tell he had it written all over his face. Like I mean, no, I mean, no, 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 you're not going to attack Jarvis like that today. You're not going to attack Jarvis like that. No, Look Jarvis at him. No, Brando, you're shooting bail. No, 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 I know exactly what Jarvis was saying. Because you... I, you know what I learned? That Jarrell and Drew can't comprehend. So I'm going to speak for Jarvis to co- so you guys can comprehend. What Jarvis oh, is saying, oh, what man. Jarvis is saying <laughs> is that, yes, R. Kelly was his favorite R&B singer at one point in time, as was the rest of the world's favorite R&B no, singer. He still, no, he still is Jarvis's favorite R&B singer. As I he mean, should be. As he should be for Jarvis. However, Jarvis recognized the transgressions of R. Kelly. I mean, so I think we all do, Brando. he's not going to continue to champion him anymore. I he's not going to champion R. Kelly anymore. But me, he can't take away from what R. Kelly has already done. To me, I mean, Jarrell and I had this argument, like, all the time. Jarrell really thought that Usher was a was more legendary than R. Kelly. No, like, well, then, well, once again, Jarrell was wrong. Jarrell was wrong about that. No, R. R. Kelly is more legendary than Usher. I would get, I shoot you some bail though, Jarrell. There was a time where it seemed like Usher would probably take that over. And Usher, Usher maybe is, an, is a notch below R. Kelly. No, I, I, I yes. think, I think, I think yes. he's two notches yes. two notches below because as we know. All right, now I showed you, I shot you some bail with the one notch. I don't know about two. The only person missing one thing right now is you, Javar. You don't need to shoot Jarvis. R. Kelly has this. Hey, songs on. I mean, R. Kelly has this. Usher don't has don't have this. I mean, yeah, I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what is that? That? wait, what? A pen. 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 He writes. He writes. R. Right Kelly pen shit for oh, Michael yeah, yeah, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Of course. R. Kelly and pen. Aaliyah. Paul. Hey, hey, hey. Usher's biggest who album. Who pen? Who who pen? Usher's biggest album. JD. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to know who has a pen? Future Hendrix. Yeah. Future Hendrix has a pen. He does. Um, um, you know that Beyonce, so I didn't know that until you told me. Yeah. And not, not just that, the Sierra song. Um, and, and a plethora of hits that... that, that, that <laughs> Did he just say a Sierra song? It was a hit, though. It was a hit. It was a hit. Was he featured on it? No, he no. wrote it. Oh, okay. He created it. What song? What song is that? Sing Body it. Party. Plus others. But that's that's one of the bigger ones. Yeah, it was a hit. It was a hit. Go. go Body back. party. Did R&B it chart? Hit. Did it chart? Yes, motherfucker. No, I'm man. asking. I'm asking. Did it chart? <laughs> yeah. I'm pre- I, I, I would imagine it did. It was, it was pretty big. Pause. Hey, yeah. let, me, let, me, let me get to my topic, though. Let me what's get to my topic. topic. What's your topic, Jarvis? My topic is a man is dating a woman. He's honest with one, and he lies to another. Which relationship does he value the most? Oh, he values both the most. Easy. He values both. He values right. both because he knows he knows who to lie to, and he knows who deserves the truth, and he knows what's best for both, and he values both. That's all that's happening there. That's, um, a, that's he, that toxicity shit again that Brando just be spewing. Like no, that's 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 common sense, or does, he, or, or does he value? I think he values none of them. If you if you lie to one, you're not being you're not living your truth. You're not being your authentic self. And um, I guess the honest one. I mean, you you are being honest, and that's honorable. But the fact that you still did your thing 
with the other. But what if, what if she's okay with it? If he's honest, is she still there? See, that's the thing. Like, women say they want honesty. People say they want honesty. Do we really want honesty? Women and men, like yourself, do, do we really want to hear that? No. Yeah. No, you don't, Brando. You don't want to hear the I truth. Do. I do, personally. Personally. You want to hear, hear the full truth or just, like, fragments of the, it? I want the full truth. So you, if your girl cheated on you, are you the first dude? Or do you want to know details? Like, did you? No, I don't need to know details, but I need to know the. Did you orally compensate him? Would you say something? Like to do what? <laughs> Would you ask your girl <laughs> if she's orally compensated another dude? Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I would ask. I got. I gotta know how to feel. I need to know the truth so I can know how to feel. And you gotta feel these things. So tell me what it is so I can feel it and react to it. Tell me what it is. Don't don't leave me in a blind and in the dark because I don't like looking stupid. So if you did these things, let me know so I can know how to deal with it. That's all. Let me deal with it the way I want to handle it. But let me know what I'm dealing with. So yes, I would prefer to know. I, mean, I guess it's a fair point. <clears throat> that don't mean it's going to be easy, though. Still going to hurt. Yeah. I'm not, I, I, I'm not saying it's not going to hurt. It's going to hurt. The relationship's over. But what about the what about the girl that he tells the truth to? Dude, that's, the, that's the baby boy thing. I lied. Yeah, yeah. no, this, this all that's the best. Y'all, he values. He boy, values don't both. Cut me off, boy. I was talking now. Good lord, now you ain't got no oh, manners. Yeah. He values both. That's like the baby boy thing, right? Remember, it's like the reverse of that. You remember um, <sighs> Jody when he said Jody told yeah. you that like I. I, I, I tell these girls the truth because I, I don't care about these hoes. I lie to you because I care about your feelings. That means I care about you. Remember that scene? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't like, I'm like a little dude watching that shit like, yo, like. It's you know, backwards you know, that mentality. Like, like, yo, that, to me as a young dude, like, yo, that made sense. It as a kid sense. watching that movie. But now it's like, mm, there's nuance to that. Uh, Jarvis, what's your original question? Oh, so the man has two women. One he's honest with. Other one he lies to. Which one does he value the most? Both. And that's my point. Why does he value both? Because he's doing what it takes to keep both. If he has to lie to one to keep her, I think the one he's lying to, though, that's, that he's being selfish. Like he's not lying for her sake. I feel like he's just lying to keep her around. Uh, okay. Or her, or it could be it could, two things could be true. He could be lying for her sake and to keep her around. Because lying to her. It's protecting her feelings. And lying to her is keeping her around. Or it's protecting Which, himself. Yes. All that all of that is true. But the, my, the answer to Jarvis's question, he values both. Because if he didn't value that girl, he wouldn't lie to keep her around. I, I got I got a statement. I, I just thought about something. What, what drives us the most? Fear. So if you're lying to one out of fear that she might leave you, that means you value her the most. Like if you if yes. You, if Correct. you lie to her... And you scared if you're honest with her, she would leave you. Whereas the one you're being honest with, knowing that you could potentially, that can be over. Yeah, you so it means care. you don't care about that one. That or, or that's Jarvis, that's completely true. Or you know that the one that you're telling the truth to prefers you to tell the truth or respects that more. All I'm saying is if you're you doing don't think, what it you don't takes, think all you don't think most people will prefer the truth? No, everybody prefer different. you to tell them. No, this is why Jarvis asked us. What would we prefer? Everybody's mm. different. I prefer the truth. Y'all seem to say y'all wouldn't. Same goes for women. Some women prefer the truth. Some I mean, women I do prefer, prefer the I truth. I prefer the truth. All right, but, yeah, but I, also this. You know in, in your mind who, who, if you tell this woman the truth, what the results can be. So you may not tell this woman the truth because of what the results may be of the truth. Or this woman, hey, I can tell her the truth and I can live with the results of telling her the truth. So it, it all depends. But to answer Jarvis' question, the answer is if you're lying or telling the truth, whatever, if you're doing anything to keep that woman in your life, that means you value her. Because if you didn't value her, it wouldn't matter. You would do whatever you want because- Or you value what she can provide. And Maybe not her. That's, that's another layer. Either way, you value her, Drew. You, no, 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 no. What do you want? If you value, you can value what someone provides, but not value them as a person. If I value what you provide, then I value you as a person. Because if if you ain't providing what I want, that's not then, true, Brando. That's not true. That's not what do you mean? 
What do you mean? What do I mean? There's levels to it. Yeah, there's it's levels. A, a, exactly, Jarvis. There's levels. Say, say that I value. I value you somewhat. But I value Brando, you Brando, in, my, Brando, in my life. But Brandon, let's say this. Let, let, let's say that you're using a woman straight, strictly for a monetary purposes, right? Mm-hmm. And you're just Damn. using her just for money, just because she makes more money than you, right? Okay. I'm not saying that you are doing that, but I'm just saying just let's let's use that hypothetically. Point, right? Yeah, hypothetically. hypothetically, you're not you're gonna l- continue to lie to her because she's she's obviously providing you with a service of money. Okay. Yes. Exactly. So that means you don't necessarily care about her. You care about the money. And yeah, you care losing her because you you lose that bread. Yeah. Okay. But I still value her. Now no. hey, you value now, her now, money. Now the reason that I may value her may be a little fucked up, but I still value her. I can value her because I love her. I can value her because I need her. I can value her because she's providing something for me. I can value her because the sex good. I can value her because she looks good. I can value her for any other reasons. Hey, but the fact remains now, that I value you. you so what I'm saying is... But the argument can be made is that you don't really value them if you're using them for things. That means you don't really care about how they feel, about their feelings or anything like that. So do you really value the person if you don't care about how they feel? I mean, value <laughs> me, value Brando, I mean, you... Brando, and we've we all been in this situation. Two separate things. But Brando, let's be honest. We've all we've all been in a situation with a woman where we've used the woman for things other than we cared about them. Okay. And I value that. I lady. Did that. And no. I value. And, and, and if I did that Shut to up, you, Jarvis. And if I and if I did that to a lady, <laughs> I valued her. I valued her. Period. Because you know why? I went out my way to do whatever it. To do whatever it you took. went out your way to lot her? Yes, yes, yes. I, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be all more than likely. I didn't even want to talk to you to begin with at all. I'll be real so with I y'all. I had dog. to put in some type of work. Yes, I'll be I'll be real with y'all, dog. I'm not good at lying, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like to have to keep up with a lie, so I just choose and I don't want to sound like I'm, per- I'm the perfect man, but I choose not to do dirt because. A, I, I really believe like everything that's done in the dark will ultimately come into light in yeah. one, one way, shape, or form. I believe in karma. And um, I, I, I just don't play that game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never had. I'm like I that mean, too, though. I, I play the game of eat or be eaten. This is, this is, this is the way the dating game right now is kind of eat or be eaten. I used to tell women straight up, like, listen, you see me out with another girl, don't trip. I'm I'm single. I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing what I do. And when it's time and when it's time for me to get serious, I'm also serious in the fact that, okay, like, let's be exclusive. Let's try this out where it's just, cause I, you know, this, this is what I want to do. Are you down with that? And once you make that decision to be exclusive with a woman, as a man, you got to hold up your end of the bargain. And if it's not going the way you – like it to go have a conversation about it if it's still not going to like it go you got to end it because I'm, I'm i don't believe in people wasting time like we get this one life though life is really short i'm not gonna be wasting no one's time like people get their time wasted for years i hate that Steve. Decades, i hate that look up jarvis, like, i'm with the wrong person i gotta cut you off right there jarvis i don't like that though i don't like when people say a failed relationship or time spent it's a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. No, no, a failed relationship is good. But I'm saying when you knew, when you're wasting years, when you just being unhappy in a relationship and you you reach your ceiling with a person, yet oh, you okay. decide to be with them and they, they they basically lead you on. You know what I'm saying? You, what you mean like more so like settling, like you settle with the person, even though you knew you weren't compatible with them. Yeah, and you know, they, they and also the fact that they could be they're stringing you along. You could be really feeling that person. And they just string you along for what you provide for them. And then it's like, now nah, I'm done. It's like, damn, I, I just wasted, you know, good years. Like, I see people like that, like, this in their 50s, 60s, getting divorces. It's like, dang, like, how, how does it get to that point? You know? And, and, and that's what I was trying to tell Drew last week, man. You, you, there's no science to this. There's no age. Because like, 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 like Jar- um, Jarvis just said, you got people in their 50s and 60s for that they wasted all of that time. Because they thought I had to do it by 35. So they did it by 35 and wasted 35 to 55 because they felt they had to do it at 35. It's and that's you got to do it when yeah. you're mentally ready. That's a fact. To be mentally ready. There's no age limit on your mental. Everybody's lifespan ain't the same. 
I can live to be 100 years and you can live to be 70 years. So if, if you're living to be 100 and if I'm living to be 100 and you're living to be 70, when we hit 40, that's two different plateaus. You see what I mean? Yeah, but you never know. So 40 is half of your, 40 is not even half of somebody's life. It is somebody's life, 40 is three quarters of their life. Let me ask you a question, dog. If you had, if you, so we all know our birthday. Yes. If you could like know your death day, would you want to know? It would change the would it change the way you what you do life because you know it you got like okay, I got like, I got it two years left. It would definitely change. I, it would definitely change the way I do life. The 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 tough question is <clears> what I want to know. That's the I would want to know. I don't think I do neither. Yeah, I don't either. I don't think I do. I don't think anybody wants to know their expiration date. I want to be real with you. I, I, I would want to know. I, so, I, feel like, I feel like you won't live life because you always look. Yeah, you won't. Yeah, because you'd be looking over your you shoulder. Like, yo, yeah, your whole perception of life yeah. would change me, that second. The oh, second got 50, it would because two years left. Oh man. No, oh. yeah, it would, Drew. That's you. that's what I'm saying. But if you know, you know how much time you got. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I swear, if you don't know, then it's like I don't know when it's gonna happen. At least if I know, let's say it's whatever when I'm 60. All right. Well, like, let's say it's next year. Well, then, hey. I mean, God forbid, God forbid, let's say it's next year. You, you're you going to be like, dog, like, what the fuck? You're going to be trying to scramble. No, I'm trying to get about, like, the exact done. day. I want the exact date. Ooh, ooh. These boys get into it, dog. Nah. If, if, you, if I get the exact date, I'm good. I'm like, all right. Well, I know I know how much time I got, and I'm going to rock out. Would you tell your loved ones, or you just keep it yeah. to yourself? No, I would tell them. Like, <laughs> it's just, I mean, yeah. It's just like when you get, you know, diagnosed with a, you know, uh, a life-threatening disease, like the doctor will say, you know, you got this much time left. Like, so it, it, this sounds very cliche. This sounds very cliche, but you know how to kind of get the best of this particular scenario? Live every day like it's your last. That's true too, but that's not. It's that's not, not realistic. It's not realistic, yeah. That's it. It's very realistic. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, all right. I don't. I mean, may, maybe in your world, Brando. No, 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 just attack. Just it, it, attack. It, depends, it depends on what you view as living it to the fullest, too. Oh, yeah. Wake up every day. Is, wake up with a certain mentality every day that this could be your last or I got to make this day the best. As, as, as a um, Muslim man, live my life to the fullest is like getting my five prayers in a day. That's when I know, like, my day has been filled because I'm, I'm filled spiritually. You know what I'm saying? So you do whatever that means to you. Yeah, that's true. It was like, Definitely. as a young dude, you think living it like your last day is like this partying, like it's wilding out, doing whatever. It could be, it could be, it could be. Now it could be like going on, randomly going on a trip. Like, okay, I want to go on a trip. I want to go. I want to, I want to see everybody I love one last time. I want to go make my rounds. It could be anything, but you got to, you know, you know, but, but thank God, thank God that we, we're all in good health and that it could happen tomorrow, but. Is not and is doesn't seem to be on the horizons. So we got to be blessed about those things and realize that hey, while these things aren't on the horizons right now, let's live life as they are, because it's short. Like Jarvis said, man, like you, you, you got things you want to accomplish, you got things you want to see, you got goals you want to chase. Do that shit now. Let me ask y'all something, dog. Well, I saw the button podcast touch when I saw Gilly touch on it. You know, and they talking about like beefing over women. You know what I'm saying? So like, e even with the whole um, Sweetie and um, and um, Quavo situation, how he beat up, allegedly beat up Justin. No, Lord. no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. What? what I'm that? saying like if if a if a dude that you don't know, right? I I because I'm I'm gonna switch gears. I had a conversation with my coworker. He said if a dude that you don't know. You find out your girl cheated on you with this guy. Do you beat his ass, or do you just like this? That's you check your woman like you're not supposed to be doing that. He he didn't do nothing wrong. I don't get it. You don't check your woman because at that point it's over. You know <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, but do you want to get the aggression out on a dude? And you don't beat his. No, no, I, no, I, no. I, and how do you know it's not over? Because women take men back all the time. So it may, for some dudes it may not be over. You talking about for yourself? It's over, right? I was probably speaking for myself. But, hey, I'm going to say something. It sounds good to me. Who knows what I would do? I, who knows if I would take a cheating woman back? But it sounds good for me not to say I wouldn't. 
I don't know. But you you wouldn't fight the dude though. No, I wouldn't fight the dude for what? Well, well, the, well the dude's your homeboy. Does that change things? Oh, but then yes. You so know what that? There's two. There's two totally different. So people. you will fight. You will fight your homeboy over a girl. I wouldn't fight him. I, he just wouldn't be my homeboy no more, and the girl wouldn't be my girl no more. Oh, so you drop both that? You taking two? You taking three L's that night, dog? Well, two no, L's. No, they're taking the nail. That okay, night. okay, I like that. I like that, Brando. <laughs> Talk your shit, Brando. <laughs> that's all that's you happening. Put your raincoat on, dog. I ain't mad. <laughs> Curious George head ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of the speaking of the of the, of the sweetie and Quavo situation, obviously no, obviously oh, yeah. everybody's seen the video. It surfaced from early 2020 supposedly, and there's a video that has surfaced where Quavo is entering uh, the elevator, trying to looks like he's trying to get out of there, and sweetie tried to try to throw a punch at him, and he ducked it and kind of swung her into the elevator while trying to grab some of his belongings. How do y'all feel about the situation, man? Do y'all what what do y'all think? What do y'all think of the situation? Oh yeah. go ahead, Jarvis. Please go ahead. Cause I cannot wait to say I <laughs> about the situation. I cannot wait to say so, the way I feel about I, I feel like just like we talked about last time, I think this deserves um context. I think we need to know what happened. You know, um anytime a man is physical with women that's going to bring the alarm for some people but what we don't talk about is women that physically attack men and they're just trying to do it do what they could do to shield her away from him so is, is there a difference between the two right you know, like me i was raised not to put my hand hands on a woman under no circumstance you put your hands on a woman I remember my mom literally telling me, like, if a woman puts her hands on you, literally, like, run away. You know what I'm saying? That That's the school that I'm from. But if you just, like, if she swung on him, he's kind of, like, shielding himself and trying to get his stuff, and she happens to stumble over, is that wrong? Yeah, like I said, in, in the video, in the video, it was, it was clear that she, she swung on him. I don't very- think I don't think she swung. I think... She- to me, she was trying to throw it, trying to throw it, and I think he like caught her arm. That's what it looked like to me. So there's a there's a, a more enhanced video on Twitter that, that I sent, and she's like, it shows her swinging, and he's like getting out of the way. Listen, man, listen, man. I think I think I think this case is a black and white case, man. And I think that because Quavo is a a male, that is not being treated as such. This is the facts. Um, from the video, just just according to the video that I I viewed, um, footage doesn't lie. So from the footage I saw, I saw um, Sweetie or Saute. Sweetie, Sweetie, Sweetie. Saute. Saute. All right now, Brando. No, 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 because I always no, I always thought it was Saute. I just learned it was Sweetie because I never heard I never heard her name said. I just always read it. Yeah, so I never heard anybody say. It. So you can't read. <laughs> it's spelled Saute. No, it's <laughs> Sweetie. S A W. And then S A W? S A W E E T I E. It's spelled Sawiti. Yeah. Sawiti. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> How you spell it? I just spelled it. Spell it again. S A W E E T I E. And what I say? Saute. That's what it sounds like to me. We're dropping the words. What it sounds like to me. I know. <laughs> saw. S A W. Is that out of saw? When you say S A W, do you say salty? Salty? Does she salty? It all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. I'm, I'm worried about you. When I watched the video, um, I saw that Sweetie was the um, she looks like the aggressor to me. I saw her swinging, throw two punches. I saw um, my man Quavo when I react to those two punches. So this is what I saw. Uh, let me give you the timeline. I'm gonna give you the timeline. I yep. saw two punches thrown by Salty. Quavo, no reaction. Didn't do it. I saw her then try to take his game, his Call of Duty. Yeah. He goes for his game. They have a struggle. He takes his game back. And Salty fly takes his game back. 
He took his game. That's what he did. He did. You know, I'm just talking about like 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 Listen, this is not my opinion. I'm not this. This is not Brando's opinion. I'm just t- speaking of the footage I saw right now. I'm gonna get to my opinion. I saw her swing on him. He don't react. That's what I saw. I saw her then take the orange on Call of Duty game. Um, he he says, "Hey, don't take that. I need that." They go have a struggle, a tug of war. They have a tug, tug of war. It was they have a tug of war with a game. He won. He won. He won the tug, he won the tug of war. And she falls to the floor. They, they both go. slipped because he he fell too. He fell a little like bit too. He fell a little bit too. But you know, Quay, Quavo's an athlete. Though. He, he's and, and, and then when she fell to the floor, I, I'm not gonna listen. I'm a I, I'm a big um, sports person, and I'm a big humanitarian. I would never be the one to say someone faked injuries, but. When she fell to the floor, it seemed like her reaction to her on the floor didn't warrant what happened to her. But that's just my opinion. I don't know how she felt physically because I'm not in her body. Listen here, fe- fellas, 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 and I'm, <clears throat> I'm being serious when I say this because I feel like there's not a, enough light shed on men Thank you. That, are, that are abused. Thank you. So, and, you know, we, we, we even see it in movies where a woman will slap the shit out of a guy. Just, you, you dog. Pow! It is celebrated. It's celebrated. You go, girl. Thank you, you. go. And it's like, something like this. For, for the fellas, damn, Drew, you hungry? <laughs> you, <laughs> you got to go serving the food, dog. I'm going to open the fridge from here. <laughs> Stomach growling, boy. <laughs> you got a time on this fridge, dog. Whenever his stomach growl, that, that, <laughs> motherfucker, that motherfucker open, dog. Because <laughs> they got a timer on his fridge. You got a fridge wave. <laughs> that, man, that man refrigerated beat. <laughs> Oh, boy. I will say this. On a serious note, fellas, like, if you're with a woman that's being physically abusive to you, like, it's, it's time you got to walk away because in this situation with Sweetie getting physical with Quavo or whatever, let's say she did, but if you're in a physical altercation, even trying to shield yourself, like, playing tug of war, like, that woman can fall down the steps and die. You, there's all types of freak accidents that can happen when oh, physicality is involved. Oh my god! Oh my. That's god. true. Ah. Oh my god! Brando, Brando, you never see he got game. Yeah, yeah. Man, fuck, he got game. Ah. This, is just this is just amazing, man. Listen, listen. This is what's going on right now, and oh, I'm so sick of everybody. I'm sick of men. I'm sick of women, and I'm sick of men not being able. To anything this is what happened S- salty sweetie was caught on footage attacking quavo that's what we just saw and ever since that footage has dropped nothing has happened other than attack on men and on what men should be not doing and what men should be doing and no, no, another no, 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 Brando. I'm going to shoot the lady some this is stemming from a video of her attacking him. No, All Brando. This- no, Brando, Brando. A, a lot of the ladies, a lot of the ladies have been shooting Bell, shooting Quavo some Bell. They've been saying that it's Sweetie's fault. Who's been saying that? A lot of the ladies have been. No, no, a lot is no, no, no. Remember, no. remember, our timelines are different. Our timelines no, are no, different. No, no, timelines are the same. The no. no, timelines are the same. There has been, there has been, uh, if out of a hundred percent of women, let's say. 30% of them shot Quavo Bell. And out of those 30% that shot Quavo Bell, those women have been called everything but the, but the devil. So, yes, there's 30% of women that have been sh- shooting Quavo Bell. And if you shoot Quavo Bell, you're either, one, abusive, or you are, um, what's the word when you let somebody get away with stuff? What's that word? Um, Apologist? No, Enabling. complicit. One yeah. of those apologists. Complicit. Um, or, or what's the word when you, when a mom lets a son do something? This is You're nothing enabling. to say about yeah, men. When enabling. They let the, when, when enabling the or complicit. Complicit. Yes, yeah, another enabling. Enabling. That's the word I'm looking. For. <laughs> 
There it is, Jarvis. There it is, Jarvis. Jarvis, you never let me down, man. But yeah, they they say if you if you if you if you say that hey. Quavo didn't do anything wrong this time, and Saute did. Saute, Sweetie did do something wrong this time. They're gonna say you're abusive. Are you an enabler? But back, but back, but to my point, like I said, men, if you notice that the woman that you're dating likes to get physical, I say bounce because any given time it gets physical. They say, let's say he's protecting himself, and police are called. Any time, any time a physical altercation happens, it's your fault. It's the you're gonna get in trouble. Yeah. You got to fight that. Dar- and thank you, Jarvis. 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 Stay where you just said. Just stay at that point right there. Because this is the point I'm trying to make. The whole world saw Salty attack Quavo on footage. Right? Right or wrong? We all saw the elevator footage, right? I saw Sweetie do it. I didn't see Salty. I don't know what that is. <laughs> we, saw her. We, we saw the young lady. We saw the young lady attack on um, Quavius. And um, like you, to your point, you said when there's a physical altercation, the man's gonna be a bad guy. So what I'm trying to say is that is so true because we we all saw that footage. And honestly, that footage lo- looks like they both engage in physical. No, it doesn't. That footage doesn't look like that. It shows that. that, it shows that, it shows like that well, it actually, agree. Brando Brando Jarvis is right because according to the LAPD, they're both looking. They're looking into it and they're saying that they're both probably going to be at fault for a domestic uh, dispute. No, yeah. it doesn't mean they're right. It doesn't mean that Jarvis is right. We saw the footage. You I'm saying, like, I'm you saying, saying that. I'm saying. You know us. We saw saw Sweet Tea attack Quavo. Brando, and we saw, and we saw Quavo dodge punches. And we saw Quavo take his belongings back. And ever since the footage of those two things happening, the only thing that I've seen is Quavo under E. Dude, Period. That's dude, all that's happened. Realize how- Quavo got uh, attacked and got his footage and got his items taken. And ever since that footage has leaked, Quavo has been the bad guy. But you're not listening to what I'm saying. I, I'm no, I'm listening. I'm that, agreeing. That, that, what, that, all, that physical altercation between them was something that is the norm in their relationship based on what we saw. Like how it's just so casual. It was like he 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 didn't look caught off guard by her behavior. I mean and she didn't look caught off guard no, by we're not gonna do you can't do that. He casually looks in the camera and they go back to this whatever. You can't do that. You can't blame their whole relationship. You think that's the first time a physical altercation happened between them? Yes or no? If if I was to guess, no. And especially since I was in a public I, setting for her, her for her to feel comfortable to, to do that with someone that's famous, He's probably always doing famous it. Famous in a public setting, I can imagine how they giving it up at the crib. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I that's am not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that, Jarvis, because this could have been. The I mean, I'm saying that's very, that's a very fair point that Jarvis has, though, Brendo. I'm not, I'm not saying, this, I'm not saying it's unfair. I'm not saying it's unfair. I'm especially, saying, especially there's, 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 um, rumors of cheating. Can you imagine what happens at nighttime when Quavo's is chilling, sleeping, I'm not, I'm, I'm, and she I, going I, through I, that phone? And what's what she wakes him up to? Mm. I get where you go. Jarvis potting today, dog. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm let me throw. Let me throw sweetie some bell now. Let me throw sweetie some bell. Because all I'm saying is Jarvis. I'm not gonna sit here and make this one incident and make it seem like sh- this is what she's always doing. This is what I think that's happened. This is what I think that happened. I think that. So you think this is an isolated incident? I think this is an isolated incident. I, I mean, I don't know, but. I'm not going to sit here and paint her as a mutual abuser. I think this is, from what I see, my guess is this is an isolated incident where Quavo got caught up in some shit and she overreacted and she did something wrong by attacking him and taking his game. And Quavo handled that situation well. And then once Quavo handled that situation well, he was attacked. That's what I think that happened here. I don't think that Salty is an abuser and I don't think that Quavo is an abuser. I don't think neither one is an abuser. But I do have a problem with the way that these ladies are attacking Quavo the past few days. Now, I think that is utterly ludicrous that this video dropped and the think pieces are about Quavo and abusive men. I mean, but you, you, got, you got to look at the optics. A lot of people would see the optics. And anytime you see a man and it looks like he's, like, forcing a woman down, even if it's in self-defense or whatever, it's just bad for the optics. I understand that, and I get it, and I get it. Look, it looked bad also that he just, like, let her stay on the, like, just looked at her oh, on the ground. Like, yeah, that's true. It's just bad. It's it just bad. What, it do, y'all want, bad. what yeah. do y'all want men as It looks bad. It looks the bad. The lady just, the lady swung on him three times, 
took his game. No, Brenda, we're saying we understand. We understand then, that. So because he Brenda. stood down and watched her on the floor, he's the bad guy because he didn't want to come. He's the bad to guy. The Brenda, Brenda, we're, we're, no, saying, look, look, we're saying what? it looks Brenda, bad, Brando. That's what we're saying. It looks bad. Okay, why does it look bad? Answer me. If she's really hurt and he's just like just loving okay. to stay there. Okay, let's say she's really hurt. Let's say she's really hurt. Why does Quavo look bad? The footage, the beginning of the footage, from from the start of the footage, she swung on Quavo. He took his game back, and he didn't attack her. So, cause she got hurt in the process that she did. Yeah, yeah. Quavo's the bad guy because he wasn't not, up in arms. We're, the bad we're, just, guy. we're just saying what it looks like. Stop. What does it look like to you? We said no. We. Y'all keep saying what it looks like. I told you. What we saw. So this is not yeah. something that we have to, to, like, me, have to speculate on. We I'm saw not. That's my opinion. Him. He to me, it looked bad. Him. He tried to get his game back, and she failed. That's really? what happened. So what are you saying what it looks like? How did she fall? We saw it. We How saw she it. How she fall? Brando, you're not listening. All right. To me, it looked bad for him to – it don't matter what happened before that. If – his girlfriend is hurt on the ground, and he's just looking at her nonchalantly and just like, fuck it. That's to, to me, that's what it looked like. Okay, yes. So his girlfriend was hurt on the ground, and Quavo looked at her nonchalantly after she punched him twice. Okay. His game, fine. Qua throw Quavo in hell. Throw Quavo no. in hell. He Brenda, why you getting so passionate about this? No, because I'm just saying, I make it make sense to me. Make it make sense. Drew just said that Quavo was wrong because he looked at his girl nonchalantly while she was on the ground. Drew, did, did he not say that? Yes as, or no? as, but no, as a as a as a man, you're supposed to be the matter of fact. Hold on, hold on, Jarvis. Let me. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to protect our women, right? I know, but let me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Brando. Hold on, Brando. Let me ask you a question, okay? If Sweetie was your daughter in that situation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. in the elevator. Yes. And your daughter happened to throw a punch, whatever it may look like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she gets swung to the ground. I didn't see a punch being thrown. It, no, Saucy threw the punches. Sweet, sweetie, no, that was a different video. Yeah, there, there's a there's more, there's a more. This one, I don't no, 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 hold on, Brando, hold on, hold on. If this was your daughter, let's get back to this. If this was your daughter and she threw the punch and was swung to the ground and she looked like she was seriously injured, according to a video, you wouldn't feel any type of way about it that a young man had sw swung your daughter to the ground. Well, I emotionally feel a I'm way. I'm saying, wouldn't the optics look bad? Like, yo, this, this young man just swung my daughter to the ground. And, th and this is my problem. Would the optics look bad if, if, if Salty was swinging on your son? Yes. Yeah, so nobody talks about that. That's yeah, my point. That, that, that the video point. shows her starting to get swinging on Brando, I'm agreeing with you. I'm, agree? to, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get to the other you side of it. Nothing. Brando, Brando, do nothing. we yeah. agree with that yeah. point. This we is trying to give you the other side of it. I, I get what you're saying, Jarvis, Jarrell, and I get your question. Your question to me if is, if this was my daughter, well, how would I feel? Right. My point is, why is that the question when she's clearly the aggressor? Why is all the conversation directed to, is Quavo Brando. wrong? Or is Quavo right when she's clearly wrong? Hold on, Brando, let's be clear. When I, no. when I initiated, when I initiated I this conversation- I just don't get it. Hold on, when I initiated I this discussion, it. I said, I prefaced this by saying that Sweetie swung on Quavo. I Period. Said okay. Yeah, we agree. We all agree that if so she was wrong to do that. Swung on somebody and took her and took that man's game, and my yes. and that man went and got his game back from my daughter. How would I feel? Is that the question? Yeah. And time out. Is that I, the question? Look, look at the optics. Like, look at look look at the roles were reversed. What if Quavo would have like swung on her twice? Look at like that. That would have been. He would have been done out here. I agree. I agree. Yeah. That's yeah. But I don't like the fact that we keep saying optics. Do y'all know what the definition of optics is? Optics is something the way it may looks. Y'all, y'all are talking about the situation as if we didn't see it. We saw. No, it. the optics is how it looked to me. Okay. So, so it looked like. Salty swung on Quavo. Well, Brando, I think the, he the took his stuff and he went and got his stuff back. But, and in that struggle, she fell to the ground. But Brando, the you, you gotta you gotta remember the times that we live in. Brando, Dom domestic violence is a very sensitive and touchy subject. And okay, I understand so she was domestically violent toward Quavo. And I under and I okay, understand Brando. That. People who are typically have that are in domestic violence disputes, and the people who are typically getting hurt are women. 
We're not. We're talking about the footage that. Brando. Was okay. Listen to this. I'm. I'm, I'm just. I don't. Okay. Get it. If, okay. We all agree that she shouldn't have swung on him. Okay. In the. Okay. So we all agree on that part. Can we move on from that? Yes. Okay. She's wrong for that. Yes. Now, in the scuffle of him trying to get the game, mm -hmm. they fall to the floor, mm -hmm. and it. What it looks like to me is that she got hurt when they fell to the floor. Okay. Okay. So okay. So we agree at that point. <laughs> okay, let's move to the next slowly, part. Dog. Okay. Let's move to the next part. Yes. Now, she is hurt okay. from them falling on the floor. Okay. You don't think that she he should have like checked on her or anything. It doesn't matter. She's showing him butt. Look at him just like oh, man, you, I I man, listen, man, listen. Okay. But no, 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 no. Let me answer him. Wait, he wait. asked me this long drawn out question. Let me answer him. Oh, sorry. Let me answer. Him. <laughs> so you don't think he should have checked on her or something, not just looked at her on the ground and just said whatever. It just you don't think he should have checked on her. This is what I think. I think that after Salty swung on him and took okay. the game, and they struggled for their game, and she fell to the floor. If okay. I am not, uh, if I'm a human and you mostly swung on me, we're already angry about something, and you took my, and you try to take my belongings, am I going to be the most loviest, doviest person? So now y'all are blaming. So now Quavo's wrong. He didn't hit her. I no, didn't I say that. No, 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 no. I'm just talking to Drew. Oh. So he didn't attack her after she did all of this stuff. She, he got swung on, didn't attack her. She took his belongings. He just got his belongings back. Didn't attack her. And she fell to the ground. Didn't attack her. So now Quavo's wrong because he didn't crown it. No, 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 Let me answer. You asked me a question and I'm answering. So let me finish. You, so this is, I'm just, this is, because I, I never, last week, no, 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 I can't let y'all cut me off. You're putting you. words in my mouth. No, I'm not putting words in your mouth. I never I'll said Quavo was line. wrong for that. I said it looks bad. No, I am asking, you're, you're asking me, does I look bad? So I'm answering it. I'm okay. answering it. I'm answering it. You okay. said, does, after Quavo was attacked, after his game was took, after he got his game back, and after he's probably emotional, is Quavo, does Quavo look bad because the girl that who just did all these things to him is on the ground and he's not sad for her? Does that make Quavo look bad to me? No. It doesn't. Do He's a human. It has no. it has, you're talking everything that has nothing to do with optics, though. Optics no, is like a, a quick... No, we no, no, saw no, it, no. though. Let, let me break down optics, optics, optics when we saw quick... it. We saw it. We saw the events. We, saw, we see the timeline. But optics is like a short snapshot of what, what transpired. Okay, and we saw this. When you look at right. optics, you're not looking at all these outside variables. You're not okay. looking at emotions. Uh, uh, I, I at agree. It. I agree. So with that one minute video, a short snapshot, all I did was tell y'all what happened in the one minute video. So the, sna the snapshot that people are focusing on is him swinging her down, her being possibly hurt, and him not checking her. I understand. Yeah, all right, so if you understand why, so, so, so if you can, if so someone swings on me, I'm gonna be upset. I'm not gonna be checking on you. You talking exactly, about exactly, man? All right, so that's common that, sense. We agree with exactly. you, my dear. We're saying that the snapshot optics does not look good for him. I think the snapshot. I think the snapshot optics don't look good for Salty. Why? Why don't the oh. snapshot? Oh. Why are we? Let me ask a question. Why is Quavo in question and not her? Because both, if you involved in a physical altercation. Both people are involved to a certain degree. Exactly. But if you're the man, you're so they both they both should have culpability for their actions in this physical altercation. What That's were what, what did Quavo do that he should be he that he needs to apologize if he for? He was physical enough for her to fall on the ground. Oh, so my God. Oh, I'm just saying. I mean, well, I mean, as Brando, a man, you got you got to think for yourself and you got to think for the woman at times. Okay, I'm fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Jarvis, stop right there. Fair enough. If she want to throw my game, I'm going to be upset. You got to eat that. Hey, right, Jarvis. No, no, stop right there, Jarvis. I agree. So, hey, if Quavo's wrong of anything, he should have just ate that game being thrown and ate it, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I take that. But what does that mean? That a man is expected to, to hold a certain standard of emotional control under all situations, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Fine. Is that not a double standard? Yes. Fair enough. Fair. Fair. Are we willing to live up to that double standard? Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
So if we're living to live up to that double standard, I want all other double standards to be lived up to by the ladies. Y'all cannot have it one way. If y'all want, if y'all want men to act wider, dog. Huh? If, if you if, if we want to be real kings out here, we gotta care ourselves. I we agree. I agree. That's not fair. That's not right. Hey, we can't. Fa- fair it's enough. Not, it's not gonna be fair all the time. As as that leader, you gonna I, you gonna take Jonas, the heat. Jonas, I agree hundred percent. Your team is lo- losing. You gonna get the glory and share it when your team wins. But as a man, we can't Jarvis, me and you on the same page. Jarvis, me and you on the same page. Right. If, a, if a woman wants a man with that mentality and that's gonna behave that way, that's gonna turn the other cheek at all times, be a man at all times, show emotional maturity at all times, fair enough. If that's what you want from a man, fair enough. But you better be the woman on the other side of that double standard. Is all but I'm as, saying. As men, if you're if you're a king, you gotta vet these women to make sure they're queens. Okay, I agree. So well, I know downstairs, I, I got my wife. My wife ain't never gonna swing on me. I'm never gonna have to worry about getting into physical altercations with my wife, and she's never had to worry about that with me because there's a respect level there. There's a respect level. You don't even play like that. You know what I'm saying? But, but this is also a gender role thing, though. This goes back to gender roles. Because a man is expected to behave a certain way in the same circumstance that a woman would be under. Meaning that if something was done to a woman and that same thing was done to a man, the man has to behave differently than the woman, correct? Which I don't have a problem with. Because I, I, I don't have a problem with that. All I'm saying is that in this Quavo situation, this is a good example. If the lady is expected to be a lady and gets to have emotional um have lack of emotional control, fine. A man should have emotional control and a lady can like that. Cool. That's our gender role. But all I'm saying is this. If y'all accept that gender role, y'all need to accept all the other common gender roles that the ladies don't seem to accept. If you want the man to be the provider then and, and all of that, then and you got to listen to the man, then go with that. If the rule is that the man has to be a man and act like this, and the lady has to be a lady and act like this, then keep it consistent. Is all I'm saying. Let's we move on. All I'm saying. We, Let's we move don't on. have that type of time anymore. I think, you know, for me, I mean, maybe I'm speaking for myself, but what, what works best for me is if everything is like we're, we're a team. We do everything together as a team. I agree. Yeah. So I'm not going to come home and expect my wife to. They, they call it like no, the, no, no. The, the, the night shift. I'm not showing white to to cook for everyone. Yeah, I'm not. No, no, no. That's not where I'm going. No, 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 no. That's no. not where I'm going. That's not what I'm saying. If you're taking that gender role, the old school where no, they, the man is the man is paid the bills and everything that came point. with the household, the woman did. Are y'all comfortable with that? I'm not. But let's let, let's I mean. move on because I think I think we're beating a dead horse right no, now. No, we're not beating. No, we're not. We're not beating a dead horse. We, I we think we are. No, we got to be clear. We That's are. What I'm saying. Well, I think I think you've been very clear. You've made your point. I think we're all uh, we're all under the same. No, under- no, because Jarvis. No, because if, if, we if we was clear, Jarvis wouldn't have said what he just you said. You got a topic? Yeah, he got a little Nas X. You know he finna get into that. Hey, hey. What? <laughs> all right. What y'all been on, man? <laughs> let's let's skip to that, man. What y'all been on, man? No, 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 no. This needs to be discussed. No, we need to discuss this little Nas X topic. It does this need to be discussed. Big thing going on. This is a big thing going on in the. I don't care. I'll be I'll be real with y'all. I think little Nas X wants attention, and he does stupid shit like this. And for me, I I I don't even know what's going on right now because I don't pay that little dude no mind. <laughs> well, I mean, I agree with you. I have not seen I have not seen the video either. But I'm paying my mind. But I was a little upset by his words from when he was saying that he's 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 not a role model. And he doesn't do music for kids. He Number doesn't. one, that's a fucking lie. Because when because when Old Town Road came out, if he didn't do music for little kids, he wouldn't have had a little kid jump on his remix, and he wouldn't have gone to an elementary school and performed for kids at what an elementary kid school. On his remix, it was the little Yoda Lehean kid. He had him on the remix. That was an official. That was an official remix. You know that dropped. The, do you know what the song "Old Town Road" was about? The original song. Yeah, but I'm saying though, they made a kids' version of it. They didn't make a kids' version of it. There wasn't a kids' version. The kid just they happened did. to hop on it. I'm, the, the I'm content saying. Didn't change. I'm saying the kid. You're right. It was content, marketed. It was marketed towards kids. It wasn't yes. marketed towards kids. That song was never meant to be marketed towards kids. Brando, the remix yeah, was marketed like, towards kids. No, it wasn't. Kids just happened to like it. The original song is about about adultery and, and sipping lean. Brando, how's that marketed towards kids? Explain Brando, it. Brando, did wow. you? Brando, did you see? Did you see the? Did you see the remix? Did you listen to the remix? Yes. All right. So who's on the remix, Brando? 
that this that does not change the content of when you the, put a little kid on a remix it is marketed to kids which is many I don't think kids. Has, you know who else he put on a remix young thug so what Breno, there were multiple different there were different versions of the song all i'm trying and to the say content is all, all of the song is, change yes or no it's a yes or no question there were certain lyrics in the song that changed yes that marketed i don't, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think the song is necessarily marketed towards kids exactly I think kids just happen to like it Lil Nas X is a kid so art it didn't catch the no, I'm not, I, he's not a kid little Nas X is not a kid grown ass man and he made song for he made a song he? for grown he's ass like people he said he's, nah, he's like he's like in twenties or something like that. Yeah, he's a grown ass man. Oh, man he's a grown ass like, man since we know him. Kid. And little old town, old town wrong was not a song made for kids. No, That's I the, said that. I said the remix was marketed to, the, towards kids. It wasn't marketed towards kids. All right, put it this way. It makes my point by saying that if he didn't, if he didn't do anything, if this, if this wasn't marketed towards kids, why would you go to an elementary school and perform this song? He's because twenty-one. Kids end up liking He's it. Twenty-one. No, why would you go to an elementary school and perform this song, Brando, if it's not marketed towards kids? Because kids end up liking it. So okay, so then that changes what you market to. No, it doesn't mean that the yes, song. Yes, it was does, creative. Brando. Does not Brando. mean does not what mean the song was created for kids. No, I didn't say created. You you created we're not saying create, Brando. You're missing y'all, our point. Y'all, hey, yo, y'all have the worst interpretation skills of anybody known to man. I Brando. never said that. I, I said that the kid. I the said original, this. the original version of the song. Yes, you're correct. Was not marketed towards kids. Old. He was 17 years old when Old Town Road dropped. Okay, doesn't mean it was marketed to kids. I'm that was just telling me the age of the artist. What was the saying? song about? What was the song about? Answer it. Just answer I mean, that. Look, look, look at other kids' songs. Look at Tootsie Roll when we was growing up. What was it that? Doesn't that wasn't a kid's song. Kids just happen to like it. Just because kids happen to yeah, like true. a song doesn't that's mean it was made Brando. for kids. I'm, I'm all a Brando, Brando. dog. I'm we agree that it wasn't made for kids. It wasn't but when it comes, for kids. When it comes to marketing, you base that off who's starting to like it. It was. So if kids are starting to like it, then you're going to shift your marketing. So like Jarrell said, okay, kids are starting to like it. Let's start performing at elementary schools. That's you're shifting the marketing. No, no, no. He didn't say, oh, kids are like, I did songs, say so that. Don't no market to know because that's not what happened. That's not what happened. He didn't say, oh, Brando, he, tell me what happened. No, yeah, no, I'm responding to Drew. He not that because it's not what happened. That's not what happened. He he didn't say, oh, kids like this song, so let me go read, let me go market you know. to them. No, kids like this song, so the school paid him to come to, to their school. Y'all Dude, that's on the school. It's not on him. It's not marketing the kids. Please, man. Y'all don't even stop it, man. Uh, so what, Listen, what, was, what was the question, though, about the topic? Like, what, man, what's your... Because you guys, you guys are just wrong. You have to be wrong. The original question about the, was about the um the shoes, the, the Satan shoes, the top. Yeah, hey, Satan, I hope, I hope they sell out. I hope they go triple platinum. Nike's going to sue them, though. Huh? Nike's I already mean, suing him. Well, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're suing They already him. did sell out. Yeah, yeah man. Him. And Nike, Nike is so weak, too. Oh, so he, if they oh, didn't get on, backlash, can... if Nike didn't get backlash, Nike wouldn't be suing. And if everybody loved this, Nike would be all on board. Is this all that this is? I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I think Nike would sue as well because this wasn't ran through Nike. So I'm not, I understand that. that. What I'm saying is if it wasn't ran through Nike and it got great publicity, then Nike would, would want their cut. So they would sue. No, they would get their cut. They just get their cut. Not without suing. Brando, you can't get your cut from a custom from a custom shoe company that makes customs. They yeah. wouldn't get their cut without suing. So either way, they would have sued. Do you know how many times people have made custom shoes that have gone just as big, but it wasn't. It didn't. Brando, get made. we're not. Are you? You're not. I don't know what I'm talking about. Not understand what's going on tonight, dog? No, I'm just, y'all just don't be listening. Y'all don't. Y'all don't be. No Brando, we you. understand that there are there are multiple companies that do customs. But to be associated with satanic, satanic views, uh, like a religious beliefs, that's, that's bad. my point. That's my that's point. Good. So if, if, if those companies that usually do collabs did a, did a collab that wasn't sat- satanic, sat- whatever the word you said, and satanic. they get backlash, would Nike be suing? No. Because it'd be good press. They wouldn't be suing. The only reason they're suing is because middle America and, and people are against the Satan and gay shit. Which which is a big contradiction. I was Nike. I was Nike against year, gay shit when they have their own line of of open athletes and pride. They have a pride line. I didn't, okay, I'm not saying I'm not saying Nike was against gays. I'm what? saying Nike was you against said that. No, I didn't. I said Nike was against the the fact that this shoe 
<laughs> in particular, got bad press. If this shoe, that this exact shoe that was made, said, got good said. press, Nike wouldn't be suing. Brother, That's my point. You just say that, dude. That's my point. It was against gays. He just said that, right? Yeah. I didn't say okay. no. I didn't say Nike was against gays. I said every. I said the people were against gays. I said if Nike. I said if the shoe was made, that Nike. That that and Nike. Everybody loved it. Nike wouldn't be suing. And now the part about be, being people being against gays. That was a separate point, which I'm willing to talk about now because I think everybody's a hypocrite. I think everybody's a hypocrite because last year. We was all singing Old Town Road and letting our kids. I don't think last pick- year we were singing Old Town Road, dog. It's probably like three years ago. All right, the year before, here y'all go picking hairs again, man. You know Old what Town I'm Road saying? was a minute ago, dog. That was 2017, dude. No, it wasn't. It was 2019. It was like 18, I think. It was think. 2019, man. Just stop. I'm telling y'all the year. Don't argue that. I'm just telling you the year. Oh, Dude, yeah, it dropped, it dropped December of 2018. Yeah. Okay, so it got it was popular in 2019. That's what I'm saying. So Let's do 18 now. everybody, everybody was Let's get shit no, off, no, you did Jarvis. That song dropped in December 2018. You did not hear that song in December 2018. That it. No, you didn't. That's when it. This is that. This when it dropped. No, I, it got yeah, popular remember, way after. Dude. Randall, I ain't gonna up. try to tell Jars when he yeah, heard it. No, the song grew. The song got popular over time. No, I, I, after I, I, I remember. I remember in December of 2018, my grandma was in the hospital, oh. and I had to take my niece to my sister's house, and I was playing that song. I was like, this song get mad, dog. So yeah, I do actually remember that. So okay, you little dude, it's okay. Okay, so let me ask you this: Was anybody against Little Nas X when Old Town Road dropped, and when before they found out he was gay? I don't see Brando, it doesn't matter. His sexuality doesn't matter. This is a troll. Your sexuality does not matter. No, he's not. He's not trolling. This is his way of uh, little little Nas X is not trolling. Little Nas X is just responding to the backlash that he gets. That's the difference. So yeah, I you take that back. Say, you don't think these these shoes was a troll? Okay, yes. all right. I take that back. Yes. I take that back. His trolling is in response to the backlash that he getting. So yes. He's trolling. So, Breno, are that. you trying to tell me that they're trying to cancel Little Nas X because he's gay? Who's they? No, they're trying to. Yes, because he's gay. Brando, because no. He's proud of it Brando, he's no. It no, Brando. What do you mean? Brando, it's 2021. I think people are way more open to the thought of, of people being gay. And, and people being gay. Number, number two, for? number two, what one of the world's one of the world's largest artists of all time is gay in Elton John. So why, well, why all of a sudden? Why all of a sudden do we care about not Little Nas X being gay? Whoa, 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 whoa! First of all, everybody cares about Little Nas X being gay, and they care about D. Who cares? I don't. Everybody Jarvis, cares. Hey, Jarvis, do you care about Little Nas X cares. being gay? No. No. Uh, Drew, do you care about Little Nas X being gay? Who cares, yeah. Rando? You asking Jarvis and Drew? If that was the case, nobody. Rando, do you care? No. We're not talking about us. Me, us. We're we're nice gentlemen. We're not talking about us. <laughs> Brando, there's, I, there's, there's, a lot of people don't care. I'm not, uh, yes, a lot of people I think, don't. I think he's personally shining light on it. And just like Jarvis said, he's being a troll because he wants Jarvis, to resurrect Jarvis, his Jarvis, career. Jarrell, your view, you have a bad view on people's perspectives. On the, of, you have a bad view of that. Bruh. Because you're saying that nobody cares. you never cares feel like this is a troll where he's trying to resurrect his career? Yes or no? No, his career doesn't need resurrecting. What do you mean his career doesn't need resurrecting? He hasn't had a hit since 2018. Doesn't mean you're because he hasn't dropped the song. Doesn't mean yes, he has. No, his, no, no. Yes, he has. He's dropped multiple songs, Brando. They don't no, hit. No, man. No, he dropped a song with Nas too. He's huh? dropped the song with Cardi B and Nas. They, they, they weren't, they weren't flops. Brando, I'm oh, trying no. to tell you Brando though, Nas they, weren't, Brando, they weren't as successful as Old Town Road. What wasn't this? Little Nas next. Little Nas X has been forgotten about. He's getting people are starting to forget about him. This is his way of trying to get his marketability up. I'm not, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying this isn't a part of the rollout. No, I'm not. I, duh. Was, but he, was he hasn't Panini been. He hasn't been a nine factor. No, yeah. he hasn't been a nine factor since. Panini was a hit, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah, Panini like, was pretty big. It was. Exactly, 20, was it 2019? No, no. So he has to have to drop a hit every month. What do you want from him, Jarrell? Brando, Brando, you, what do you want? We all, Brando, we are all cognizant of that. This is a fast society that we live in, especially with music. Yes. People are dropping stuff months, 
months and months and weeks, days sometimes. No, they don't. No, dropping they don't. stuff all Name the time. the artist who drops a song in a video or a mixtape every week or month. No, they don't. Uh, Drake. Drake drops shit all the fucking time. Jarrell, just stop. No, We're just talking stop. about bigger Jarrell, artists. Jarrell, just stop. Jarrell, you're not making hey, sense. Hey, Drew, am I not making sense? Has, hasn't has Drake dropped Dark Lane demo tapes and Scary Hours too? Future drops Future often drops well. shit all the time. Oh um, my, you got, I, I can't talk to you guys, man. Does he not drop a, Brando, come no, on No, Brando. I think, Future, I, think, I, think, I think at most, at max, a rap. Uh, no, y'all be, y'all, 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 I hate, I hate talking to you guys sometimes because I would try to make a point to make the bigger point of the argument. You know, take the one little point and argue about that. And if you, you ask me a question, I'm addressing, I'm answering your question. About. You're not smart enough to get what I'm saying. Little Nas, is, little Nas has not fallen off. That's the point I'm making. Do you guys not see that? He has not been falling off. Oh, so what? Then you're, you're proving our point, Brando. I know, uh, they're trying to say that Little Nas X is doing this as a publicity stunt. And what I'm saying, no, this is Little Nas's X. Per, this is his wait, wait, bro. Uh, wait, wait, okay, time out, time out, time out. Let, let's slow down. Let's calm down. Let's take a breather. Oh, my God. You what? Can... How? What year was Lil Nas X born? No, see, no, see, I hate when we do no, this. No, 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 listen. No, that doesn't listen. matter, but we, we're about to, because we're going down a road that goes away from the original. I point. think that it's a natural thing for kids in this generation to do stuff for attention to get back hot. They want to stay relevant. They just want a reaction from people. That's uh, that's their that's that, that's the internet game that they play. Lil Nas X no Lil Nas X, X knew what this video was gonna do when he was shooting it. Yeah, facts. That's facts. He knew what it was gonna do. Do you do. not agree to that? Like be honest, do you not agree to that? Duh, he knew what it was gonna do. Your guys make obvious points. That's duh. our point. It's, it's it's fucking water wet. Yes, duh. Okay, okay, so what are you arguing? Because y'all well, yeah, what are you arguing? Y'all yeah, get off know. track. Y'all make all this is what happens. I try to make a point, and in the midst of my making my points, y'all argue every little word that I say to, to the point that the original point gets lost. But okay. Brandon, so, I asked I feel, me a question. Like you artist. said what artist? You asked me a question. You said what artist I asked you that question? Time? I asked you that question to prove a bigger point. Okay, so now, all right, so give me the bigger point. I want to hear it. I I'm forgot dying now because y'all y'all argue all these other points. That means nothing. Duh, so, duh, people troll. Duh, little No, 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 no. People uh, don't troll like this, Brando. Y'all, the major is, artists don't troll like this, Brando. I don't think Little Nas. This, this is. You don't this, think Little Nas X is considered a somewhat of a major artist? Yes. And hey, I think that that's he's such a major, major artist. Don't troll like this. I think that he's such a major major artist that he doesn't need to troll. He's just doing what he. Believes is that is that, do y'all does anybody ever think of that that somebody just believes what they're saying? Does does, does everything have to be a part of a bigger troll or maybe that little nice oh, ex so has a belief today, and he's trying to push his belief? Brando, I'll be all right. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> Y'all are calling Little Nas X a troll for his video. And I'm telling you that Little Nas X believes what he's saying. And he he thinks Brando, he he Brando, was... two things can be true. I, and that's what I said at the start of this conversation. Unbelievable. <laughs> and I can't I'm, lost. I'm lost, dog. I, I'm lost. What, get your boy, dog. What's up with no, you? Yeah, dog? No. I'm lost. Wait, so what is, you, what is your point? Because what is your, what is your main point? Yeah, Brando. Just, listen, this is why everybody gets lost. Because I try to make a point. And in the midst of me okay. making the point, I say something. Brando, forget about that. See, what it even, happens in the game. It hap my I'm asking you, what is your major song. point about Lil Nas X? And the floor is yours. Okay. We're all ears. Okay. What's your major my point, point? about Lil Nas Okay. My point about Lil Nas X is he's not trolling. And I think that everybody's wrong about their feelings towards him. And I also think that Nike wouldn't have sued if the shoe got good. Backlash, not backlash, but if they got good response. If the, let me, this is what I'm gonna say. But Brando, if Little Nas asked, let me. I'm gonna say this. If Little Nas, if, asked, my, if my uncle was yeah, a, woman, this, is why we, this is why this is why everything gets so confused. Go this ahead. You got. You just gotta be. You just gotta be quiet. Let me get it all out. Cause never. Hey, hey, hey yo, yo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, yo. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> it's never gonna mm. work. Mm mm. mm, -mm. It's never gonna oh. work. I don't. I don't even know the point I'm making anymore. Because all right, 
if little Nas, if forget little Nas X, if no, I want to stay on little Nas X. Let's let's stay. No, on. no, no, don't hey. change. No, don't don't change anything. Just let me talk. Here's what I'm trying to say. Drew Froze. If oh. if Beyonce, if Rihanna made a Nike shoe, a collaborative Nike shoe that Nike didn't have anything to do with, that was about angels. And the people loved it. Nike would not sue Rihanna, period. The reason Nike is suing Little Nas X is because the Satan shit that, the, that most of America is against, that's why they're suing, and because he's gay, which a lot of America is against. That's why. Not against... That's why. Is this the fifties, Brando? A lot of America. That's the thing. I think you're missing. Yes, a lot of America is coming aboard, but still. Brando, most of... I think. How was Trump president? Before. How was Trump president? Y'all think all of this stuff? Y'all think America is these four? Y'all think everybody's like us? Everybody's not like us. Brando, Brando, Brando. Everybody's and, not four and, thinking. No, Brando, you were just I'll telling Brando. Me that I'm misinformed, right? Four. I think that you're misinformed because oh, a lot right. of people are actually open to people's sexuality nowadays. More open than they were uh, back yes. then. Yes, I never said they weren't. Brando, in, in, the, in the entertainment business, I understand what you're saying. Like, as a, from a broad view of things, like, yes, there are, and my, my gay friends would tell you, like, there are, like, parties and sectors that are prejudiced towards them. Of course. Like, that's, that's, that's still a thing. Like, let's, the world ain't changed that much. Of Shit course. is still fucked up out there. Okay, okay. However, in the entertainment world, I feel like being homosexual is more celebrated. Yes, yes, I'm not gonna. Okay, forget gay. Forget I said. This is why I hate. This is a gay. All right, forget I said and gay. Let's leave the word gay. If the Nike shoe wasn't a Satan shoe and the Nike shoe was an angel shoe, they wouldn't be suing. He wouldn't have did an angel shoe because he's trying to troll. Uh, this is, um, forget he's trying to troll. Okay, no, I understand what Brando's saying. Brando's just trying to say if it was more of a positive, Thank a positive you. feedback, if then got, exactly, Nike would have signed off on it. If you're, if you make, but of money, course, Brando, that makes sense. Up. Marketability helps that. Exactly, that's, that's my marketing point. Marketing one on one, Brando. So that's my point. If All you're is, hurting my back, I'm going to sue you. If you're helping my business. I'm not gonna say shit. Yeah, Brando, that's like saying water is wet. Okay, Just like okay, I agree. I agree. But Nike is okay. I agree. But they're suing pub, uh, under public perception. The the way that they're publicly suing about it is that they're against what Little Nas X is saying. No yeah, shit. Brando, but no, but Brando, okay, you that's just, my point. But Brando, you trying to make it. it. All right, Brando, all right, so we're getting there. This is just okay. But so Brando, they, can I just stop the you shoe was about the shoe was about the devil. Exactly. Why is that bad? That's my point. Brando. Why is the devil bad? Yeah, I'm the devil guy, bad. dog. All right. What you been on, dog? Exactly. Been, See, yeah. y'all, we can't get nowhere because y'all Hold never on. I just want to say this. Brando, you when you made your original happen. argument, Brando, when you made your original argument, you said that the reason why Nike is not is not behind is because number one is satanic and number two is because Little Nas X is gay. All right, all right. Let's, 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 let's change my original argument to stay on, on topic. Okay. Forget the gay because it's satanic. Stay on that. Brando, so you're asking us why is the devil bad? Yes. <laughs> Yes. All right. Yes, he's another character. Yes. Why? Yes. No. Yes. No, because all of it. See, so you, you, so you think you think it's smart business for one of the biggest companies in the world to make a shoe promoting Satan. You think that's smart business? Business? No, I do not think that's smart business. No. Okay. Brando, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Because I'm not talking about business. I'm more so talking about why why isn't why isn't this smart business? Why do people hate Satan? That's more so what I'm talking about. Why do people feel this emotional about Satan? Why do people feel this emotional about little Nas's X video? Have you why? Why are you this emotional about it? Why? Answer Brando. Me. No, no, no. Don't shake your head and look at me like I'm dumb. Have you read That's a Bible? Have you, have you read, read the have you read a Bible? Or, uh, have you exactly. Have I read a Bible? Now we're getting into it. This is all about people's beliefs. Who's to say who's right, who's wrong? All of this money, all of this, all of these lawsuits are based on people's beliefs. I'm I personally right now, wasn't uh, offended by Satan. I don't get offended when I see Satan. It may it doesn't make me feel no type of way whatsoever. So the fact that it makes most of Americans, Brenda, I, Brenda, I get what you're saying, but it's a bad argument. It, 
It's a Brandon, bad argument. On, uh, Brandon, what you been on? What you been on? I, 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 Brando. I've been on I've been on that you should believe what the fuck. Brando, when you get to the pearly gates, my brother, and you see us on the other side, don't say don't go, don't huh? say our name. Okay. Y'all not gonna be it. Y'all don't, y'all, don't y'all say our there. name. You won't be on the pearly gates because you don't have the acceptance. So you 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 don't have acceptance. Oh, this ain't Brando. He's you know fucked it right now, dog. Brando fucked it right now. I'm gonna be there. I'm the angel. Y'all, this is the day. They try to make me the bad guy when I'm just the most understanding. That's all. And listen, the devil, angels, little, little, you know who's gonna be in heaven? Little Nas X could be there. But but most of America think he's going to hell. And that's the problem I have. Brando, that's I'm, I'm, I can't judge. I'm, I'm not in no place to judge. Only Brando, God. that's a false I, narrative. Jarvis, that Jarvis, 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 I know you're not. And Jarvis, I think that you agree with me. And now I don't think that your belief is on the same belief as mine. I mean, I it, think it, you it, agree it, with it, my, my, my moral premise. In Islam, in Islam, and I don't know about Christianity, probably the same thing. I think it's probably the same. It's 100% sure it's the same thing. The only thing that the devil can do is whisper things to you. It's up to you to take that action. Okay. So I can think from the standpoint of like, okay, I'm not, I feel away, but it's based on from a religious standpoint, like, Shaitan is bad. I'm not gonna have anything to do with Shaitan. Exactly. Now, let me ask you a question, Jar- Jarvis. What do you mean exactly, Brendo? No, 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 no. Exactly, Jarvis. Let me ask you a question. Is that your belief? Yeah. Okay. And should that be put on anybody else? If it's bad for my business? No, 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 no. I'm not. No, no, no. I didn't ask all of that. Just stick to the questions that I asked, please. Just stick to the questions that I ask. Well, you Is that your belief? Yes. Should, 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 if somebody else doesn't believe that thing, should they be judged for it? I'm no place to judge, but from my standpoint, as a, from human to human, as a, as a spiritual being, I don't want them to be involved in that for their, for their soul. So yeah, from that standpoint, but I'm no, I'm not in no place to judge. Like, do you, feel, do you feel strongly about your beliefs? Yeah. Okay. And do you feel that the point where I'm, I'm overbearing on others? I agree. So I, what my point is, as I feel that everybody's beliefs are being overbeared on little Nas X is all. But dude, Nike, from Nike's standpoint, if you, if you go hard on some devilish shit, it's bad for their business. So they're going to sue you. So the point but I'm trying to not, make, it's not, a, it's not no grand scheme. Like, Oh, they're picking on Lil Nas X. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not oh, making it personal to him. It's not about Lil Nas X. I don't care about him. You're going to smell my business name. Like, we, you're going to get this work now. You're this is what I'm saying. Work. This is what That's I'm saying. That's why the devil's bad, because it's making Nike's business look bad. Okay. But, th- all right, this, the bigger question I'm trying to ask is, why is the devil bad? Says who? It says our religious belief system. Exactly. That's my point. And that's my point. Everybody's belief system is not the same. So, Brandon, let me ask you a question. Do you think the devil is is bad? Do you think Uh, the devil is bad? Who? Do you think the devil is bad? Do I think he's bad? Yeah. I don't think he exists. And so I think everybody's stupid for all of this because I feel like you being mad at the devil is no different than my daughter being happy that Santa Claus is coming home on Christmas. That's my that's my opinion. So So I think all of this. So I mean. And I think that little Nas X should not be. Should, there should be no cancellation or no financial. So let me ask you a question: Would you hang with individuals who who worships uh like say, uh, Satan? You said, "Do I what?" Would you hang out with individuals who worship Satan? No, and I won't hang out with little Nas X or gay people. But doesn't mean I'm against them. We just don't have anything in common. But and so, but, so, but you hang out, but you hang out with individuals who believe in Christianity. We, we have something in common, but not Christianity. But we may have other things in common. In common. Are you and now, if me and these, and now if me and these, may have to be they, the now. Talk. However, John, no, 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 here's your are question: you, Are you agnostic or atheist? I'm not if me, about. if me and these Satan worships, you didn't even answer your question. No. If me and these Satan worshippers have a lot in common, and they're a good friend of me, and I get along with them well, I will hang out with them. Brandon's a wild boy. As well as gays, as well as Christians, as well as Jews, as well as Asians, as well as transsexuals, as well as anybody. If me and you get along, we're good. Brandon, are you are you are you for everybody? What do you identify as? Are you agnostic? I identify as Brando. That's it. Honestly. Honestly. What you been on, dog? What you ready to go to sleep, dog? I've been on fucking that's what I identify as. Because all of this stuff is subjective. All I'm saying is 
Everything is subjective. And but Brenda, we understand everything is subjective, but you have to have a moral compass. I agree, but everybody's is different. And I feel that sometimes if some, if, if the moral, if everybody's have, if the, if, if majority of the people have the same moral compass, I think that holds too much power over the people who moral compass may different. That uh, let, let, let's, let's get to what you've been on, dog. Y'all gonna, gonna stop I, listening to me. I have something to say to the world. Oh, you um, said enough to the world today, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brando, you was on one, dog. We need to get that Brando mania know. meter. I'm not on one. You guys are on one, and you guys are wrong. And the only two people on this podcast who have a good moral compass, in my opinion, I'm not asking everybody to share this opinion, is me and Jarvis. I think me and Jarvis are the, the two nicer men on the show. But you don't think I'm nice? I think me and Jarvis are the nicer men. I think that me and his views are better. And, and I think, you know what I like about Jarvis? That Jarvis has strong views. Jarvis has a religion that's not the norm. Jarvis, Jarvis religion is not no, the it's norm. No, it may not be the norm in the United States, but it's very that's normal what, outside of the United States. That's what I was saying. If y'all would let me finish points, you finish my sentence for me. Thank you, Jarrell. Bro, you cut people off all the time, bro. We're not talking anything. about what I do. We're talking about what you do right now. And anyways, Jarrell's, Jarvis's religion is not the norm in America. And Jarvis feels strongly about that. But what Jarvis doesn't do is, I, I just don't get the vibe from him of scoffing at other beliefs. I don't get the scoff. Nah, I, mean, I don't my, get the my, view my, of him scoffing at lack of beliefs. I'll be real with you. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, I'm not letting Brando get that shit off as far as right. scoffing at other people's beliefs. I've been in a fucking mosque with Jarvis. Okay. But don't you, do that. You there with your friend. Nobody said you weren't there with your friend. No, Nobody it's not. It's not. not. But bro, I, I've never seen Jarrell scoff at someone else's religion. He just, he just did it today. No, I did not. He did. But oh, y'all don't look at it that way because you, 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 you scoffed at Satan. No, I said it's all about your moral compass. Did you? Did you I personally, you I said I personally would not hang out with anybody who worships the devil. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So there's nothing wrong with worshiping the devil, right? What? In so my, in my opinion, it is. Okay. Yeah. But, so there's something wrong with the de- worshiping of the devil in your opinion. Jarvis believes that too. <laughs> so what the hell no, are you Jarvis saying, Brando? That. No, what Jarvis he does. He just is, shook his head to it, Brando. I, I, I don't believe in that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, you can't be around me doing that. Brando, what are you based talking about? On my religion based on me. Well, Brando, let me ask you this, Jarvis, so let me ask you this. No, 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 no. So I want you to, no, no, no. I want you to take back your statement that you said about Jarvis then. What I say about him? About oh, Jarvis is the most guy that's open. Oh yeah, I do take that back. Based off of Jarvis' last statement, I'll take it back. Jarvis, I'll take it back. Jarvis, you're in the rest of them. It's only I stand alone. Yeah. I'm Law, laws, laws I side under what Allah has intended me to believe in, then I'm good. I, well, I, so let me ask you this, Jarvis. What? Let me ask you this, Jarvis. So the <laughs> Satan worshiper, that's where you draw your moral compass line. I believe, I believe if, if 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 the belief system from from my standpoint what Satan stand what Shaitan stands for as far as like getting in people's mind and making them do harmful things to other people on this earth and you align yourself with that with all the bad stuff rapings murders killings whatever okay. Shaitan whispers you to do bad stuff mm-hmm. and that's what your belief system lies in, that's what Jarrell and I are talking about the moral compass. Like, I okay. can't. Okay, so all yes, I'm, I'm saying is. Yes, I'm like, no, get away from me. All right, all I'm saying is this. I want people like you guys that say this stuff when little Nas X comes up to keep that same energy for Brando, keep that same energy for Hove, keep that same energy for future Hendrix, keep that same hend- energy for all of these other people. Brando, that- I still not to this day watch the WAP video. I mean, I don't. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't. Oh, I'm going to tell you what I want you to say. I don't want you to listen to another secular thing in your life. Brando, see, what you're want. taking it. No, 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 because I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. If if Little Nas X is. Brando, I, I, I enjoyed Old Town Road with my daughter when she was younger. No, you shouldn't. No, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't because that's satanic. He's talking about doing drugs in that song. He's talking about adultery in that song. That's what the song is about. Brando. That's what the song is about. Brando, the Bible also says that he who has not, who he, he who has not sinned cast the first stone. Exactly. We're all Please sinners. Stop. Brando, exactly. At least from my perspective, from my religion, we're all sinners. 
I did, exactly. Then leave little Nas X the fuck alone. And I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, no, no. But leave, leave, leave Satan, leave Satan worshippers alone too. That's my point. Brando, oh, I didn't say no, anything about. Hey, hey, we off this though. We're not gonna have a whole. Yeah, everybody picks and chooses. All I'm saying. Satan worshippers though. Listen, like. listen. I think the world would be a better place when we accept, when we all, when we all just accept that hey, we're all evil. So what I've been on, um, as far as music, uh, ESTG, Shine Together, <laughs> it's hard. Um, still watching the one show, still watching uh, Married at First Sight, Snowfall, all, all that. So, yeah. Drew. <laughs> What were you on? Hey, look how Drew, look how stressed Drew is. I'm sorry. No, oh, my head hurt, dog. <laughs> Y'all, I blame all you guys. I blame all of you. I blame all of you, except for Jarvis. To a, Jarvis to a lesser extent. I, I blame Jarvis to a lesser extent because Jarvis is a little more open than you guys. I must have say that. Man. Why do you keep saying that shit? Because, man, I don't. I can never finish my points because. What y'all been on, dog? Yeah, wait till next week, man. Wait till next. I'm gonna write everything down. This, I'm, I'm gonna be born prepared next week. I'm gonna no, write I'm Brand, Brando, ten minutes after this podcast, you're not even gonna remember anything you said on this Snowfall. whole episode. Snowfall, <laughs> Snowfall, y'all boys need to catch up, dog. It's getting spicy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna watch this now. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, getting yeah. spicy, dog. Y'all boys need to catch up. Uh, other than that, not much really going on as far as sports. I haven't been watching the NCAA tournament like that. Um, I saw Royal Williams retired today from UNC. So, you know, crosstown rival um, since I'm a Duke fan. But um, as far as music, <clears throat> my song of the week is by uh, Leaky Bands, uh-uh, uh, featuring Money Mar. All right. My turn. Go ahead, man. Uh, um, what I've been on, um, <laughs> what I've been on this week is the Off Work Podcast, man. Um, listening to us, critiquing us, you know. Um, so I've been listening. So you to listen to that? You listen to the episode? What episode? You said you've been listening. You said you you've been on Off Work Podcast. So you listen to the episode? Off Work Podcast has been on my mind. Off Work Podcast has been on my mind a lot this week. I want I and um, I, know, I, I, I like where things are going. I really do, and I'm proud of us. Listen. This is episode 51. So this is the episode after the last celebration. And I don't think we celebrated 50 enough. So I'm still on 50. I'm just I'm just happy for it. You know, I'm just happy that the All Work podcast is um, continuing to grow. I just think we come on our platform and show a lot of attention to um, a lot of other music and a lot of other shows and a lot of other movies. And sometimes I'll be on us. That's all I'm saying, Pauls. That's all I'm saying. Like, we got to show us love. Like, we are a platform. We are a show. And we are somebody that provides content that the people need. So I've been on all four podcasts this week. Also, um, new music dropping um, is out now. By the time this air, it be out now. So um, new music out. You the best video. Go check that out. Um, and my song of the week is um, Nipsey Hustle Rap. Rap in words. Jarvis. Rap in words by Nipsey Hussle. Um, we celebrating the um, not celebrating, but we just the um, no, it's all right. It's celebration of life. Yeah, the celebration of life. Um, mm -hmm. the the last day on Earth of Nipsey. Um, the anniversary of the last day of Earth of Nipsey Hussle has just passed. On um, so I wanted to shout him out for my song of the week this week. Um, rap niggas, and um, that's what I've been on. So I've been on the Off Work podcast. But um. Uh, ready to drop some new shit and um rest in peace nipsey and um shout out to us shout out to us on episode 51 i can't wait to get to 100 y'all think uh y'all think i'm talking a lot about 50 what did you hear what i gotta say when we get to 100 mm -hmm. drew don't mm -hmm me like that ever again you know my grandma right don't do that to me don't talk to Drew. I'm sick of, I'm sick of you. I know, and I, I know your grandma. I've been to you the past few weeks. Brando, I, I know your grandma. And I, few weeks, man. Brando, what? your grandma wouldn't like to hear about you, you know. Oh, she would. Oh, 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 oh y'all yeah, lucky my grandma ain't seen Lil Nas X. <laughs> hey, 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 it went to auntie. It went to auntie. <laughs> Ooh, mm -hmm. boy. Right, but, but listen, we talked about Lil Nas X. Kirk Franklin, because it's enough the other day. We didn't say a word. 
We didn't talk about that on the pod. So what you been on, dog? <laughs> um, so I've uh, been watching um, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Not um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Shit, I'm tripping. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, first two episodes dropped. So it was pretty cool. Captain America and the Winter Soldier. I mean, damn, I'm tripping, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't even... I can't even think straight no more, bro. I'm not even bullshitting. Uh, can't even think straight. Uh, how y'all think I feel? Every time I get a point across, I make me argue another one. But yeah, um, so yeah, I've been watching that. It's pretty cool so far. Um, it's only a six episode series so, or season, so it's pretty short, but um, y'all should check it out if you're into Marvel. That's pretty it's much it. Fun, dog. <laughs> hey, Drew. Hey, after this show, this eat you edible, man. Because you've been on edge the past two weeks, man. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with um, ESTG uh, featuring 42 Doug uh, members only. Uh, <laughs> was he watching us at work? Off work, pushing work, in need of work. Hey, what's up? Hey, can we make a song? Off work, putt. Oh, oh, W. You appreciate it, all right? Oh, W. This our sign. This our new logo right here. Oh, W. Can we do that? Does it work? Oh, W. We-